you sure you're okay? Yes, my sweet, wonderful, adoring husband. I am doing much, much better. Uh, it's the office. But you know what? They're going to have to do without me tonight because nothing is taking me away from you. Don't you have a big takeover in the morning? Yeah, Well, but... Ben, why don't you go make that phone call? It could be important. Nothing is as important as you and the baby. I but... know, sweetheart, and I'm grateful, but you still have your work, okay? Go make the call. I'll be fine, I promise. All right. Mm. I won't be long. Okay. Do you see? Do you see that? Mother, he loves me. Ethan loves me. He didn't even want to leave me to go call the office. So you're wrong. Ethan's not going to leave me if I lose this baby. He is not going to go back to Teresa. Reality check here, Gwen. Teresa came this close to taking Ethan away from you before you found out you were pregnant. She could do it again. No, she can't. Yes. Look, your pregnancy is what is keeping him from running off and marrying her. But what if you didn't have the baby? What if you lost it? What, what's going to stand in his way then, huh? What is going to keep him from going back to little Miss Hot Tamale again? California. Mm -hmm. The sunshine, the palm trees, the blue Pacific. This is fun and exciting. I can't wait to visit you guys with little Ethan. Once you set foot on that Malibu sand, you're never going to want to leave. I'm sure I'm going to be tempted, but you know, I can't live that far away from my family. Uh, I'm sorry. That was, that was, that was stupid. I, I, no, I, I should not have... It's all right. Are you okay? I just can't stop thinking about my family. The idea that I've really lost them, that my father's disowned me. Honey, he's gonna change his mind. I don't think so. He loves you. Not enough to want to see me happy with the man I love. If I could just sit them down and calmly talk it all out, maybe I could get them to understand this time. You know, there's only one way to do that. Call them. Come on, give it another try. Well, I'm sorry I had to run out in the middle of our conversation, but it was an emergency. It was Gwen's pregnancy. Did she lose the baby? No. No, both she and the baby are stabilized, but it's going to be a difficult pregnancy for her. But Gwen's going to be all right, though. Yes, but I'm concerned about her. I mean, she needs to be kept calm. Well, you know, I'm sure Ethan will take care of that. So has Whitney called? No. Oh, God, I was hoping. And I have nothing to say to her anyway. Oh, TC. I told her if she chose Chad over her family, she's out of our lives, and I meant it. TC, Whitney is our daughter. You love her. No one loves Whitney more than I do. Those were your words. You told me that if Whitney came home, you would take her back. Yes, I said I would if she came home soon, but not later. I mean, she has made a total mess of her life by going away with Chad. She's on her own. Uh, north to south, east to west, I want every house in Harmony searched. Every house, condo, apartment, everything. All right, now, that means all of them. I don't care who it belongs to. No one gets a free pass. Whoa, buddy. I know you're desperate to find Sheridan. I'm with you. I'll help in any way I can, but I have to warn you, I think some of the higher-ups on the force are going to see this search as a little extreme. Do you think your brother's going to feel the same way? No, but he's only the chief of police. He's got to answer to the commissioner, the DA, the city council. They're going to ask about just cause. I've got just cause, all right? Now, Sheridan's missing. That's all the damn cause I need. No, hey, Sheridan is out there, all right? God only knows what she's going through right now. I right, didn't kick me off the force, because I don't give a damn. All right, I'm going after the woman that I love, and I'm going to find her. Shut up, you bimbo. Nobody can hear you anyway. You're wasting your breath. Nobody knows you're here, and nobody is looking for you, so you can save your strength. Elise. 
Nobody is ever going to find you here. Nobody. Where am I? What is this place? You're wrong, Mother. Ethan is not going to go back to Teresa. He loves me. He's told me that he loves me. Gwen, you have to get your head out of the sand. You have to stay alert. You have to stay sharp. And above all, you have to stay pregnant. Mother, this is my baby that we're talking about, okay? This is not just some way to hold on to Ethan. Of course it is, Gwen. And, and, and I feel the same way. It's just that without a bun in the oven, then Ethan could go back to Teresa. I don't want to talk about this. I don't even want to think about this. That is the problem. You don't want to think. Ethan loves me. Yes. Yes, he does. But he is a man, and he was stupid enough to be drawn in by Teresa, and he could be stupid enough to be drawn in by her again. I don't want to talk about this, okay? Trust me, Gwen, if you lose this baby, then Ethan could go back to Teresa. Oh, my God. What? What is it? <sighs> Gwen, what, what is it? I'm... I'm okay. I'm okay. I was just a little short of breath for a second. I'm okay. What's that? What's that? Bigger blood pressure stuff. I'm getting Dr. Russell. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. Call him. Come on, Gwen. Go ahead. Call your folks. Tell them you want to talk and straighten everything out between you. No, I can't. I can't. Why not, no, honey? It's, it's way too soon. And Daddy probably won't even take my call, so just forget There's it. only one way to find out. No. It's hopeless. Just forget it. It's not. Okay? Things are gonna work out. You and Chad are in love, and that love is gonna get you through this. There she is, our friend Teresa, the hopeless romantic. And proud of it. No, but seriously. You did the right thing, staying with Chad. I mean, I really believe that eventually your parents are going to see how strong and right your love is, and they are going to be happy for you. For both of you. I hope you're right, Teresa. Me too. I just want us to be a family like we used to be. You know, Sweetheart, Whitney just can't turn her back on her family, then expect for us to take her back with open arms when she messes up. Well, if you love someone, aren't you supposed to forgive them? Sometimes you can't forgive. Okay, then we'll just have to pray that, that Whitney has a change of heart and comes back to us. So I want my family to be the way it was. Eve, so do I, but so much has happened, I don't think it's possible anymore. Well, of course it is. And one of the first steps to getting back what we had is to get Liz to move out. I said I would talk to her. Soon. You know, I don't know what the problem is with you and her. I mean, she has always been so nice to us. You're hateful. No more than you. Yes, but I didn't know what I was doing when I hurt you. You were deliberately setting out to destroy me. So I am. I told you my reasons, TC. I want us to concentrate on our family without any outside distractions. And that means that Liz has got to move out of the garage apartment. Now, if you want me to, I will tell her. But I think it would be better if it came from you. All right, honey, I, I would talk to her, okay? But she has to go back to the island anyway. She has a hotel to run, so this can't be urgent. What do you mean it's not urgent? Of course it's urgent. Why? I just want our family to get back to normal, and we cannot do that with a stranger in the house. I just, I want our home to be for family and, and no one else. She just walked in right now. Oh, good. Tell her. Go in and tell her now. All right, I'll, I'll tell her. Tell me what, TC? No. No word, Father. Sheridan's still missing. Interesting. Why do you say that? Have you heard anything? What would I have heard? 
You have sources everywhere, Father. Yes, but I've made no inquiries, nor will I. Why not? Because I have other problems to deal with. And, and topping that list is the mess you're making of your life, Julian. Getting yourself hooked up with Eve Russell again. That isn't true, Father. Oh, don't tell me I'm wrong. I'm never wrong. My eyes and ears are everywhere. You just said so yourself. So you damn well better start thinking straight, Julian. If you don't pull yourself together, that hothead T.C. Russell will kill you. Well, even Fox knows that there's something going on between you and Eve. And if you don't shape up, your own son will bring you down. Blow this wide open. And then I'll have to pick up the pieces and keep it out of the press. Fox is not going to be a problem, Father. He's selling the blue note as per your orders, and I've told him once he does, he's to leave town. There's no reason for him to stay here, so you can see I'm, I'm handling things. <laughs> handling things? <laughs> You've done nothing but botch everything from day one. You were supposed to get rid of Sheridan over a year ago, remember? <sighs> yes. No buts. You botched the job. Now it looks like we'll have to leave it up to whomever it is who kidnapped Sheridan to get rid of her. My God, Father, how can you be so heartless? She's your own daughter and she's pregnant. With a Lopez Fitzgerald baby. Like I give a damn about that. You know, Father, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were behind what happened to Sheridan. Father? Father, are you still there? There has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. How did that rat get down here? How's he gonna get out? There's no way out of here. Please save me. Please save me. Divided the town into eight sections. I'm going to search every inch of every square starting here. You're really convinced Sheridan's still in harmony. Hank, there's no doubt in my mind. Now, look, you know that Sheridan and I have always had a strong connection. You know, even after the boat explosion, when they gave me proof that she was dead, I still sensed that she was alive. I remember. You're right. <laughs> and I'm right this time, Hank. I'm telling you. So what Beth was saying about Sheridan wanting to leave town, that she was under a lot of pressure. Well, that was true. I mean, she was. Okay, but Sheridan wasn't a quitter. She, she wouldn't just run away from her problems, you know? Besides these, these clown nightmares and the attempts on her life... Hank, they've gotten to her. She, she wouldn't just leave by herself, and I don't believe for a second that she would. And especially without saying goodbye or letting me know where she was going. You're right. Someone took Sheridan. She was kidnapped. I, I can feel it. She's in danger. Terrible danger. Please, save me. Please, save me. You're the right man for me. You're the right woman for me. The only woman. It sounds really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. It's sure going to be a lot different than growing up there in the hood. Now I'm going back there with the contract in my pocket. I'm maybe living my dream, making music. Finally doing something with my life. Hey, you've done a lot with your life. I'm very proud of you. Oh, just... <laughs> just what, what's, what, what's, what's so funny? Oh, there's a picture on there of a limo outside the Bel Air Hotel. It must be 60 feet long. You know, only in La La Land do you see something like that. <laughs> you have done a real 180, Fox. 
What do you mean? Well, I mean, you're in this fantastic mood, you know, really up. Yeah, I mean, I was feeling bad for you before. You were so depressed thinking you had lost the woman you loved. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I was a little down, but, you know, I'm, I'm doing better now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It just hit me. I know why you're so happy, so excited about L.A. That's got to be where the woman you love went, right? Wait, just, just wait, just, just try and relax. <sighs> Gwen, Ethan said you were having trouble breathing. Oh, I was. Dr. Russell, I am fine now. I'm fine. When did it start? It was, it was just a few minutes ago. Well, was it sudden or did it start slowly and then build? Sudden? Well, your pulse is normal and your blood pressure is down. <sighs> That's a relief. Mr. Winthrop, your office is on the line. Uh, just take a message. No, please. sweetheart, no. It's it, it's important call, I know. Just go take it. I'm fine. I promise. Okay? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Just go take the call. All right, all right. I won't be long. Okay. Gwen, I have to tell you I'm concerned. About me? Well, I know that you're worried about Sheridan, but we have got to find a way that you can relax and avoid tension. That's what I've been telling her. I don't want to scare you, but stress is not good for the baby. Is there something else? Rebecca, what's going on? I was just giving my daughter some motherly advice. I do not want to see her lose Ethan. What? Look, Eve, I'm just afraid that if Gwen loses this baby, that Ethan could go back to Teresa. You said that to your own daughter? My God, Rebecca, what's wrong with you? What is it that you want to tell me, TC? Uh, Liz, please, sit down. Um... You know, actually, TC, I have something to tell you, too. I, I was really hoping to tell you and Eve together, but I'm just too excited to wait for her to get home. Well, Liz, you look so happy. It must be good news. Oh, it is. It's incredible. It's the most amazing thing. But you go first. I'll tell you my big news after. No, Liz, you go ahead and tell me what yours is, because whatever it is, you just seem so happy. Oh, it is the most fantastic thing. I bought a jazz club. The Blue Note. I am not going back to the islands after all. I am staying here in harmony for good. Look, I'm telling you, Hank, Sheridan is still in harmony. I don't doubt what you're feeling, buddy. And whatever you want to do, I'm in. I may not be carrying my badge yet, but... I'm almost done with my training at the police academy, and hell, I've been around you and Sam long enough to know the drill. I appreciate the help. All right, look, I'm going to issue orders for this search then, and you know what, I'll worry about the repercussions later. I don't give a damn if I'm risking my career. What is it, Luis? Sheridan's pregnancy was already at risk. Dr. Russell said that any more tension or stress could jeopardize Sheridan's and the baby's lives. And now this. I'm just worried. I'm really worried. <coughs> There's no way out of here. There's no way at all. Luis, you've got to save me. Baby. I feel so weak. I don't feel good. Not as bad. That's why you have that big grin on your face. Because she's out there. The woman you love is in L.A. Is that true, Fox? No, you're not going to get anything out of him. Fox is one closed mouth dude. Uh. <laughs> I just, I don't want to jinx anything. Okay. Well, we'll make a deal. When we all get out there, the four of us will go on a double date. We'll go to that place by the water you were talking about. Yeah, you know, I would love to meet the woman that Fox is in love with. 
I mean, she must be something to capture your heart, right? She is. She's really something. Well, I have to check on that leaf then. Okay. <laughs> then what should we check on next? Oh. Um, mm. Sunset Strip. There's a lot of cool clubs over there. What? What, what do you mean? What happened? I mean, that's all that you know? No, Ma, I'm on my way. Is little Ethan okay, Teresa? Yeah, he, yeah, he's, he's just fine. Um, Mama just said that Phyllis left a, a message. And that he, Ethan is going to the hospital. Oh, my God. Well, what happened? Uh, I don't know. Mama said that, the, that Phyllis' message wasn't very clear, but I, I, need, I need to go to the, to the hospital. I need to make sure that Ethan is all right. I will drive you. Come on. Let's go. How could you tell your daughter such a thing? Unbelievable, Rebecca, that, that her husband will leave her if she loses the baby? What kind of mother are you? An honest one. Look, look, I want my daughter to be prepared. I want her to know what's at stake here. Oh, dear God. Eve, look. I don't know a whole lot in life, but there is one thing I know, and that is men. And if you really think that their minds and their hearts and everything else don't wander, then you are just totally naive. And even my little Pookie. As devoted as he is to me, I know that... Lately, he's been thinking about somebody else. And Julian tries to hide it. But I know that there's someone out there, someone that he loves. Probably more than he loves me. And... I don't know the reason, but... Well, there's some reason that he can't be with his true love. But if he could, I know he'd dump me in a New York minute. But then what do you expect? He's just a man, right? Oh, Eve, I do not want that to happen to my Gwenny. I do not want to see her lose Ethan to Teresa. Anything new? Well, that was the parks department. I asked them if they could send a few guys down to Lighthouse Park, check it out. That'll free up a few of our men. Good idea. Gotta go on your end. The first of the search teams went out. Good. We'll search every house, attic to basement, even if it's... Th Look, it sounds like overkill, right? I know. Hey, the other cops are more than happy to do this. They would do the same thing if it was their wife or girlfriend. Put a call into the sheriff's department. See if they can spare a few guys. There's so many areas to search. You know, I feel like we have so few resources. I feel like if we don't find Sherry, hey, we'll find as... her. In fact, why don't you let me go out there? I can cover one of those areas. You sure? Yeah, I'd be more help to you searching out there than in here. All right. Why don't you take section four then? High Ridge to Pinecrest? I'm on it. Thanks, buddy. Hey, I'll check in when I get there. Sure. I'm here. And I'm gonna protect you and the baby, okay? Always. Well, that's for sure. Shouldn't wear? Well, that doesn't seem possible. All right, I'll be right over. Any idea where you want to live? The hills? Oh. Santa Monica. Brentwood. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't even care. As long as I get to be with you. Fox is sure floating on air, isn't he? Yeah. Love will do that to you, huh? <laughs> I hope everything's okay with Ethan. Oh, I'm sure Teresa will call and let us know if anything's going on. 
You know, it's amazing that she still thinks she's going to get back together with Ethan, even though he's married to Gwen and she's having his baby. Well, you know, part of me thinks Teresa is fooling herself, but there's another part of me that hopes that they do get back together. I mean, I'd like to see another couple beat the odds. And it also gives me hope for you and me that real love will win out in the end. They are as well, okay? Guaranteed. <laughs> you know, even though they're not together, Teresa believes with all her heart that she and Ethan will be back together, be drawn back together by love. Like Teresa says, it's fate. Right. Oh, yeah, Teresa has a thing about fate, that people are destined to be together. That even if a couple is separated for years, have gone on to live different lives, that at some point, love will draw them back together and they'll be reunited. I wonder if that's true. If somewhere out there there's a couple in love right now, finding their way back to each other. Here. I was hoping to see you. This thing with, uh, with, with Whitney, have you talked to her? No. No, not since she left. Oh, well. Sure you will. This is the first time in, in my marriage that T.C. and I have strongly disagreed about how to handle a family situation. And I'm very afraid that if T.C. doesn't soften a little, we're going to lose Whitney forever. I'm so sorry you're going through this. I wish that there was something I could do to help. Thanks, but no, there isn't. Well, if you think of anything, anything at all, all you have to do is call. Well, I, I still do have my one bright spot in all of this. Yes. Liz is going to have to leave. TC is going to tell her she has to move out. He's probably doing it right now. I am so excited, TC. My very own jazz club. Liz, that's great, but I didn't know that you were considering on staying here in Harmony. Well, I wasn't. No, I knew that I loved it here. Everyone's been so nice and made me feel so welcome. And I've made such wonderful friends. You, Eve, and the girls. Yeah, that's, yeah. You know, uh, not only have you opened up your home to me, you opened up your hearts as well. You know, people on the island think they got that hospitality bit down pat, but they ain't got nothing on the Russell family. Well, Liz, that's very nice of you to say that, but I... You know, every time I would think about going back to St. Lisa's, I would think about all of you. You know, and I realized that I felt more at home right here in Harmony than I ever did back on the island. So whenever I thought about going back and going back to my hotel, oh... I just kind of felt like I wanted to stay a little while longer with my new friends. I see, but Liz, I had to tell... You see, why you seem so tense? <sighs> of course you are. Of course. I mean, with all of this stuff with Whitney going on, why wouldn't you be tense? Here, let me massage you for a bit. Oh, anyway, getting back to me. You know, I was glancing through a newspaper, and this ad caught my eye. It was an ad for the Blue Note. <laughs> they wanted to sell it, and of course I jumped on it. You probably think I'm crazy, don't you? No, I don't. No, it's okay. I, I guess I am a little bit crazy. But it's done now, and it's mine. And I know there's gonna be a lot of hard work, and I have a lot of learning about how to run a jazz club, but I think I can do it. Yeah, I'm sure that you can. Yeah, I already it. have some thoughts about how I want to change my place. And I was thinking, well, <laughs> I thought that, you know, since you're so well respected and everybody in town loves you so much that, well, that maybe you might use your power and influence to get people to stop by. <laughs> you know, once I revamp it and everything, I'm sure if somebody like you recommends it, that they'll come. Liz, I'm not really sure that. You know, I have that... Oh, no, well, I am sure. You can believe that. After all, you and your family are part of the reason why I want to stay at Harmony. And why I bought the place. Oh. oh. 
just that I've, I've gotten so close to you, I don't want to leave. I can't tell you how happy I'm going to be to have Liz out of my house. She's been the cause of so much disruption. And there's me and my family and my life just falling apart. And then there's Liz, who's just cheering it on, waiting for any opportunity to make it worse. I don't know how you put up with it. Well, I didn't have any choice. She held my past over my head. <laughs> like the sort of Damocles. <laughs> exactly. Of course, she still could go to TC and tell him that she's my sister and all about my past, and especially that you and I had a child together. Not as if things weren't bad enough. I know these past few months have been such agony for you. But as I said, from now on, I'm not going to let you face it alone. I am here for you. Thank you, Joanne. I appreciate that. But hopefully it won't come to that. TC will tell Liz that she has to move out immediately, and that will be the first step in getting her out of harmony and then out of our lives. Just the idea that I can book the top talent in the country and they can perform at my club. Mine. You know what, Liz? One thing about you, you don't sit on your emotions. When you're happy, you are happy. Yes, I am <laughs> thrilled. I really am. Except... What? Ex except what? Well, um... I think that I let my excitement about the club carry me away a little bit. After I sat down and looked at all the figures, I realized that I had overextended myself a bit. Oh, Liz, don't worry about it. You know what? In no time, we're gonna get that club jumping. <sighs> you bet we will. It's just in the meantime, I'm not going to have a whole lot of cash left over for rent. And I checked the newspapers, the real estate ads, and you know, my heart stopped. Apartments in Harmony are expensive. And, and why shouldn't they be? I mean, it's a picturesque seaside town. TC, I, I really hate to ask this. And you've been so good to me already. And the last thing I want to do is impose, but I was wondering, can I stay in your garage apartment just a little while longer? Oh, Liz, I, you know... Please, TC. Just until I get the club up and running. You know, the more I think about the move, the more I hope Teresa's right about true love being able to withstand anything and everything. I mean, if Teresa does end up with Ethan, then that'll prove to me that true love will see us through this bad time that we're having with my family. We don't need people getting back together to prove to us our love is forever, okay? In our hearts, we both know our love is going to get us through this. We're going to be together forever, and nothing is going to come between us. Well, tell them I'm hoping to be in the contract signing tomorrow, but it depends on how my wife is doing. Well, call me if there are any new developments, Connie, okay? All right, and I'll be in the office first thing, if everything's good with Gwen. Thanks. Oh, you did. Oh, God. I, uh, I heard that you were in the emergency room, but you were right. I thought that something had happened to you. No. No. Oh, Ethan, I'm so happy. Oh. Oh, you think I'm crazy, huh? You think Ethan would never go back to Teresa? Be okay. Did you come to save me? 